Are you ready to start orchestrating the life of your dreams? Over these last few episodes, we've shared and discussed and pondered this idea that we don't need to go seek enlightenment. We don't need to go seek the power that we're all seeking to be able to consciously and creatively manifest the life of our dreams, that everything we need is within ourselves. And that reality, what we really need to do is rise above the vibrational barriers that we're all exposed to, the limiting belief systems that to one degree or another, we're all holding on to in our experience. And then we step into this possibility of orchestrating, of truly playing beautiful music throughout our lives. I've used this analogy before. I'm going to use it again. We're kind of like the guitar. Okay, we have strings. We have facets of our lives that we live and we express and we experience our lives through. When those strings get out of tune, it's impossible for us to truly create the life that we desire. So the question begs to be asked, how am I out of tune? What puts me out of tune? The vibrational barriers and the limiting belief systems that are holding you in a state of unenlightenment. So it's not about seeking it. It's about removing what is stopping you from being what you already are. You already are powerful. You already are divine. You already are perfect. You already are a masterpiece. Now, those might be the most farthest, hard to believe things for you to embody, and that's okay. The important thing is I invite you right now in this moment to step into your power, to set the intention to awaken to that truth within your own self and to embody it into every fiber, every cell, every energetic circuit within you so that it resonates within you 24 seven and you begin to create your life from that space. That's the beautiful opportunity that's available to all of us. So if you'd like to learn any more about it, these aspects, vibrational barriers, limiting belief systems, revealing the enlightened self, I invite you to go back and check out the previous episodes and uh, really dive into that and see what can open up for you living from that space and realizing life is really this process of rising above the static and noise of the modern day world and getting in touch with the truth of who and what we are. So as we go through this process, as we learn how to tune the strings of our lives, we move into this possibility of orchestration, of playing beautiful music throughout our lives. In other words, manifesting and creating our desired results in our experience. And ultimately, collectively, manifesting and creating a world that works, a world based on compassion, a world based on love, on mutual respect, on acceptance, on appreciation, on love. That's the possibility that's available to us. So we need to stop looking out there for something to change it for us. It's not going to happen there. It's going to happen within you, your resonance, your state of being. You tune You harmonize yourself, and then you open the door to orchestrating the life of your dreams. So how do we orchestrate? How do we shape and shift matter and energy into what it is that we desire? There's some really important steps. First of all and foremost, I've talked about it in multiple videos, is the power of your intention, the command. It might seem the farthest away thing for you to embody that you are already extraordinary, that you are already powerful. You just set the intention to open that truth within yourself, to open to that possibility. You don't need to know how. Just step into your power and make the declaration. Set the intention to make it so. Then we tap into this beautiful power that all of us has. And if you created some story that you don't have this, I want you to let it go. You have the power of your imagination to go into that inner realm within yourself and imagine a life that works. Imagine a vibrant, healthy body. Imagine loving, connecting relationships. Imagine prosperity and abundance in your experience. Imagine fulfilling your purpose and doing the work that ignites your soul. All that's within the realm of possibility. So we tap into that space. We imagine it. And then the most important thing we can do is to feel the emotion, the energy of that vision being realized 
of that you living in that vision, of you swimming in that vision, of it being the way that your life is in this moment. You feel the joy, the passion, the excitement, the thankfulness, the gratitude, whatever it might be, and you breathe it in. And that vision and that energy reverberates out into this beautiful universe that is going to start marrying things back to you. Opportunities, synchronicity, unfoldings. It's also going to mirror back some things that you need to perhaps maybe take care of. Another challenge, another obstacle is going to pop into your experience. But now from that enlightened place, we realize, wait, I'm not broken. I'm not wrong for having this. I'm not powerless to change it. We begin to have this attitude that we can leverage the challenges in our life to reveal our divine selves, to reveal our enlightened self, to reveal our powerful self so that we can begin to consciously create and manifest our lives and to build momentum in that process. Yes, anytime you move to creating a vision, anytime you move to fulfilling a higher level of expression of your life, you're going to encounter obstacles and challenges and doubt. Doesn't make it wrong. You just learn how to be able to move through that energy, release and dissipate it and embody a new higher state of being to help you to continue this process of building momentum to composing to creating, to orchestrating the life of your dreams. So this is the beautiful challenge that's available to you, to me, to all of us, especially as we move into this new year. It's a great time to make a new declaration. It's a great time to set a new intention. It's a great time to envision your life the way that you wanted, want it to be, to feel it the way that you want to be as if you were already living it. And then, oh my gosh, sometimes can be the most difficult challenge of all is to let go and have trust and have faith that the universe, life, source energy will bring to you everything that you need. Learnings, synchronicities, connections. Yes, even some obstacles, some challenges some opportunities to let go of more programming that you need to let go of. This is a journey. This is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. So we leverage everything that pops into our experience to continue this process. And as we learn to master orchestrating our lives, we begin to open up and awaken to the possibility that we can masterfully orchestrate a world that works. Imagine collectively, if we came together, orchestrating a more compassionate world, a more loving world, a more uh, enlightened world, political systems that worked, medical institutions that worked to support the better good for everybody on the planet. That's the possibility that's available to us. So stop looking out there. You know, it's like, oh, I'm waiting for some uh, political institution to create that. No, I think we have plenty of evidence and track record in history that that is not going to happen. So we need to find the space within our own selves, that power to orchestrate not only the life of our dreams, but a world that works. So I want to kind of ignite this spark and perhaps maybe it's already ignited within you and thank you for that. But it doesn't mean we can't build that flame. It doesn't mean that we can't build momentum in our faith and trust as we awaken and live from a more empowered state of being. And so once again, we set the intention. Yes, I'm willing to step into the power to orchestrate the life of my dreams. I'm ready to wield this power as we move into this beautiful new year to begin creating a life that works. I'm setting the intention to leverage my challenges and my obstacles that arise as steps in the ladder to lift me to new heights rather than being stuck in stories of woe and I'm not good enough and all the things that we know can arise from our own personal experience with challenges in the past. And we began to start leveraging everything to orchestrating the life of our dreams. So with that being said, I invite you to set that intention for yourself if that resonates with you. 
and to breathe. There's so much for us to awaken to. setting the intention to live from the masterpiece that's within. Breathing deeply. truth of who and what you are. Take another deep breath. Open mouth, inhale, open mouth, let it go. You are an extraordinary expression of life and you're being called to awaken to that enlightened self within you. And we do this by rising above the vibrational barriers that surround us. Totally possible, totally within the realm of possibility. We do it by letting go of the old thoughts, the old beliefs, the old programs that we've all integrated within our mind to one degree or another. We release and dissipate them and we embody new ways of being, new programs that are more in alignment with the true, enlightened, powerful being that we all are. And then as we tune the strings of our life expression, we step into our power to orchestrate the life of our dreams, to be able to intentionally shape and shift the world around us so we can transform our life experience and also begin to step into our power and our ability to change the world that we live in. That's exciting. That's filled with possibility. That's something for all of us to step into as we move into the year ahead. I am so excited to have an opportunity as we move into, yes, this new year to support you in rising above the vibrational barriers in your life, in helping you to let go of the limiting belief systems that might be showing up as the obstacles, as the reoccurring negative patterns in your life, and really leverage those to lift yourself to new heights, to awaken to who you really are. And then, yes, to ultimately help you to step into your power and your ability to orchestrate the life of your dreams and to orchestrate a world 
that works. If you want to dive into any of these other subjects, I invite you to go back to the previous episodes. You'll find a little video on each one of those prior to this one. And please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to it, because we are definitely going some places in this next year ahead. And I look so forward to sharing that experience with you. So thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Thank you for your dedication to revealing the masterpiece that is within you. The world needs your light. It needs you to shine. It needs you to remember who and what you really are. I look forward to sharing that journey of revealing, of learning, of expressing together. Take care. Have a harmonious day.